We've been talking about Joe Biden. We've been talking about this woman who came forward, uh, claims in 1993 that Joe Biden sexually assaulted her. Obviously, you've got to be one of those people where the sexual assault bothers you or it doesn't. Obviously, it bothers me. But the only point that I'm trying to make is you have to be consistent on this. Women deserve to be heard. There needs to be an investigation. We need to find out if, they're, if, if it happened or not. And you may never find out, by the way. Let's be honest about it. But if for years, the last three or four years, if you didn't complain about Donald Trump and his womanizing, if you didn't complain about the 25 women that came forward, if you didn't complain about the Stormy Daniels situation or the fact that Donald Trump attacks women on looks, seems like on a weekly basis, then you have zero credibility and you shouldn't be talking about this. But we'll take your phone calls and let's see what you guys think. 702-257-5396 is the number to call. Let's start off with Jimmy. Jimmy, you're first up on the Vegas Take. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Jimmy? How you doing? Listen, uh, I'm glad we can finally talk about Joe Biden because you stifled my First Amendment rights when the first couple of times uh, I asked. No, about. hold on a second. Now we're gonna now we're gonna discuss that. I didn't stifle your First Amendment rights. See, Jimmy, there's something in the world of radio called Freedom. staying on topic. When a caller calls in. You talk about the stuff that we. You can laugh all you want to, at, like an idiot, but you I'm don't talk fun. about. You day don't. Day excuse me. Okay, excuse wait, me. Just, you don't. You Brian, don't. You don't. Uh, no, let me finish. You don't talk about Joe you can't Biden call when we're talking an idiot about. For laughing. Excuse me. You can't he do just that. said I stifled his First Amendment rights. Yeah. That's an idiot. No. When we're talking you call about him an idiot because he laughed. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. When you t when we're talking about another subject, you don't have the First Amendment right to call into the show. We don't even have to take your call. It's not your right. It's a privilege. And if you're not on topic, we will hang up on you. That has nothing to do with your First Amendment right. Now, Jimmy, I will, I, I will allow you to make your point. Do you understand what I just said? Does that make any sense to you at all? That makes a lot of sense. You make a lot of sense. But all right. Well, your part, your part thank you. takes a lot more sense. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Now, would you like to make your stupid point on Joe Biden, or can I take the next caller? It's up to yeah, you. I think, I think he's uh, just as guilty, you know, I think Biden is guilty, and I think that uh, uh, I think that he's just as guilty uh, as Trump. Is that what you were trying to say? I think they're both guilty. Uh, okay, but you know okay. what? We all knew, knew about Trump leading into the election, and he got elected. Uh, yeah, and keep, keep in mind Biden, uh, every, everything. Biden. Everything Trump did was before he was in any type of elected office. Whereas in this case, Joe Biden was already in elected office. It's kind of like the it's kind of like the Mark Sanford situation with Trump. It's it's, it's the exact All same right, argument. Jimmy. All right, Jimmy, I apologize, but I'm going to take your First Amendment rights away. Thank you so much Thank for calling you. in. Good call, Jimmy. I'm sorry, I got I took the mic from you, Chris, but I got away in because this is one of my biggest pet peeves. Hear me, if people of Vegas, and hear me well. This is a fact. First Amendment applies to government actions, okay? The government cannot take away your First Amendment right to speech. Calling into a radio station is a privilege. Yeah. We decide if you go on the air or not. The First Amendment applies to the government. Yeah. End hence, of story. Hence, by the way, and J.D., hence For all the, those people who think we're infringing yeah, yeah, on uh, freedom of speech no, because we not. won't let you yeah, on the air. Hence, J.D., hence the idiot comments. By, so, by that logic, we would have to have every single caller on the air whenever they call it, and two, we couldn't have busy lines. Well, hence the idiot comment. 257-5396. Yeah. Let's go to Malik. Malik, you're next up on the Vegas Take. Hey, what's up, Malik? Yeah, what's up, fellas? I'm home chilling watching you guys on YouTube. It's cool. I love so Thank what you. I want to say is this. Joe Biden's been vetted, man, for years. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was the first. Not only was he a senator since he's been 29 years old, he's been vetted as a vice president. Mm -hmm. he, you think oh, the president Obama would have not vetted Joe Biden? Joe Biden's come on. So first of all, this is a distraction. And JD, guys like JD and Mark Levin and Sean Hannity, the Donald Trump knee pad wearing. No, I'm not. I'm not I, do, I, I am not a Donald Trump knee pad wearing M effort. That is, that is, uh oh, here we go. That that is not I'll me in this Joe situation. Biden that one girl, if you want to give, look, it's not it's like, like like Brian said. We ain't going. We won't prove it. Let's try. Let's try to prove it. But let's listen. I'll take Joe Biden and one sexual assault over over Trump with 25. We know 25 at least sexual assaults and possible rapes. So I'll still take Joe Biden over to stick me in, the, in, my, in my arm with a disinfectant Donald Trump. Okay? Uh, sure. well, as, long as, as long as the media is reporting it equally on both sides, which they are not, 
I'm fine with you saying that. The, the, the problem is the media has destroyed Donald Trump, and they are going out of their way not to talk about Joe Biden's situation. And there's a reason for that. There, there, there is a political. What are you talking about? There's a, there's a political bias. Yeah, finally, finally. What do you mean finally? After, after three CNN's weeks, talking about it. No, not barely. What are you talking they've about? Barely yes, they just, they, they've barely discussed it. Nancy Pelosi finally made a statement. She said, I am satisfied with, with, with his response. That's, that's what she finally said. But a lot of the media has been trying to, to push this under the rug. It's been a thing for quite some time. And after after the interview with that, her, 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 her mother called into Larry King, and that was just taken down. Yeah, I realize he's been vetted for years. But also, he was in office when this took place. Donald Trump was a civilian when this supposedly took place. Totally different conversation in that regard. Uh, no, I disagree. How Se- is that not? Uh, uh, sexual assault assault is sexual assault whether you were a politician at the time or whether you were a citizen okay. it doesn't it matter any, when right, he did which, it which, no which, yeah. which sexual assault are you, are you discussing specifically no but you said you give said, me no give me give, give me he, give me one give me one woman who was accused donald no, trump of, of sexual you're, you're assault talking who, about time who, frames who's got though, with, no i am yeah but, I mean, but i'm asking that. you that let me respond yeah, to that yeah, time frames it makes absolutely no difference no difference no, give, give me one give me one name you're not letting you can't give me one can you uh you can't give me one, can you? The, the argument you are making. I'm doing right what now you're is doing, so Brian. Ridiculous. No, I'm not putting you on the spat no. without, without you knowing it. I don't make and ridiculous I'm at, points. Uh, no, I'm you not. do. No, I'm saying. What does it matter? Give me, give me, hold give on a second. One, give me one hold person. On a second. Give me one right. person. Let me know who, who has accused Donald Trump Let of sexual assault. Answer. It doesn't matter whether he did it three years ago or 30 years ago. A rapist is a rapist. Hold on, let me finish. You think a woman? I'm not. Let me finish. Let me finish. You think a woman cares whether she was raped, whether someone was in office or out of office? It doesn't matter. Again, I'm asking you. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. me, It's not disgraceful. Yes, it is. Give me one woman. I don't, I don't know. You don't know any. You don't, you don't, you don't know one I, woman. What, but you know, you know, there's, you know, you know, there's, you know, there's 25, oh but you God. can't name one. What are you talking about? What are you name, asking name me? One woman, name, name one woman who, who, who has accused don't know their, even Donald don't know Trump any of, their names, of sexual that's not the assault. Point. J.D., it's not a point, though. It doesn't, what? We don't, I don't have to understand name what you're names saying. right now. It, it's been documented that there are over 25 Do you cases want me to go online and where, yeah. name every I mean, woman? I guess what you that, jump that, on the web right now and name the names, but who cares? And why have none of those gone anywhere? There's a number of reasons. Why? There is a number of reasons. Were they each paid off $2 million a piece? I don't, we, look, there's, there could be a plethora of reasons, J.D. That's not necessarily okay. the point. Here's because, the point. Because, because the Stormy Daniels situation, that was, to, that was okay. not sexual assault. Right. That was, that was JD, consensual. J.D., J.D., Was he married? J.D., i Was, did, was, was, was his Daniels wife right pregnant? Now. Yeah, JD, no, now you're talking about something totally different. There's one name. It, you brought up one name, yeah. Stormy Daniels. That, JD, that wasn't sexual JD, assault, Chris. No. J.D., if I Different circumstance. If I can respond now. Totally different circumstance. Guys, if I can respond now. You're there are 25 women. I'm asking for one name. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there are 25 women okay. that have accused, uh, plus 25 that have accused Trump of sexual assault. If you'd like me to do a Google search and list every name for you, if that'll make you feel better, I could do that. No, it's bad. I, but, let me finish. Obviously, okay. that's bad. Right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when it happened. The fact of the matter that I am trying to say, and what that last caller was trying to say, is. You have 25 women that have accused Trump. Okay, you have one woman that have accused. Biden. Listen, one woman is two is one too many. Yeah. If it's true, which we don't know, the point I'm trying to make is, don't try to talk about Biden and call him a sexual assaulter. If if you have not been consistent and you have not called no. out Trump for the same uh, thing. Again, we don't know. Like I, I understand consistency on the Stormy Daniels, the Stormy Daniels situation. Not talking and, about Stormy Daniels. But we're, we're, exactly, we're talking about sexual assault, but you have nothing backing backing up. You just said, oh, 25. Yeah, okay, 20, okay. 25, but you don't know what you're talking I'll give about. You, yes, I do. you, you, you want one? Name, name, name one. Name one. I'll name, name one. Name one. The and, woman that was and, on the plane and, with the short haircut. Tell me, Remember and, the older woman that was on the, the airplane the writer, with the short the, haircut? The, 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 the New York writer, yeah. The New York writer. They were in first class. And where did that go? That's one person. And where did that go? Well, look, we want to. We're not going to talk about all the details of the case. You think if Donald Trump actually committed sexual assault, Considering yeah. how how much the media has gone after that, that something wouldn't go somewhere. You can that's only why, do so that's, much, JD. I can only no, give you I'm, so I'm, much. I'm, I'm I can't serious. go I'm, down the list of. I'm, I want. I want to know. I want to know one person. And one it's not person. Even an argument to make. I don't understand why that has accused this Donald Trump of sexual assault, and where the case has so you, where the situation so ha, has has gone happen? anywhere. So are you insinuating they didn't happen at all, or that they're not credible whatsoever? Is that what you're trying to insinuate? I'm saying why did not why did not go anywhere? What happened with it? Were they were they were they paid off? It could, have, it could have been I mean, mad. It could have been sexual, yes, it could have sexual, been sexual assault. Of sexual assault right, is, is, a, is a very, very yes. big deal. Since JD wanted me to do this, and he's yes. mentioning again, a woman by the name That's of the woman. Uh, the same uh, excuse me. The woman if, I'm talking okay, about. let me just yeah. talk for ten seconds if okay. I can between uh-huh. the two of you. A woman by the name of Jessica Lee says that Trump. Uh, reached his hand up her skirt and groped her while seated next to her in a flight in the 1970s. Uh, she actually has made uh, a number of interviews, done a number of right, interviews. Where did that go? She's. Uh, you keep now. So now, so now the argument is, where did it go? Yeah, what yeah, are you talking yeah what about? happened with it? So goalpost, JD. You you're shifting them. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not moving you the goalpost. You are. Where did it go? What happened with that? Where is this allegation going to go? 
What, what well, happened I'm, I'm, with that? Where did that go? I'm asking you. What is your so because there weren't any convictions? You don't think that that I, considering I what's what been happening saying. with Donald Trump in the media that if this stuff was actually real, if this actually happened, that it wouldn't go somewhere. So Joe Biden didn't do it then either, right? Joe Biden's not going to not going to face any consequences. Joe for Biden this. won't How let us. Joe Biden, be good? Joe Biden won't let you look at his Delaware documents, oh. and the interview was taking okay, off. So it's credible, from, from, Joe from, Biden from Tara, yeah. Tara Reid's mother, who called into Larry oh, King's show. That interview was taken down. Here's where this one: a woman by the name of Ivana Trump. You might know who she is. She was married to Donald Trump. Okay. She claimed in a divorce deposition in 1990 that uh, the mother of his three eldest children accused her husband then of raping her in a rage in 1989. Now, she received a lot of money from Donald Trump. This was disclosed in court, and something did happen from that. She got more money. Wait, she got wait, a wait, settlement. Are you talking about his wife? Yes. You're, you're saying his that, ex-wife. You're saying that his wife said that he raped her? Yep. In 1989, and by the way, there's court documents. You could Google it just like He's I did. He's not saying that. Yeah. He's reading that. I'm reading off. it. Okay. Okay. I'm not saying yeah. it. Now, I could name you 23 more just uh-huh. like that, but I just wanted to give you a couple of examples of how that did absolutely nothing for this argument except prove that, you know, I could have done it, and I just did it, but it means nothing to this discussion, which is this. If you're one of those – I keep saying this. If, uh-huh. I don't know why you don't understand what I'm saying. I understand If you're exactly one of those saying, people Brian. that is going after Joe Biden but kept silent all these years with Trump, you have no and, credibility. And I'm, and I'm saying the exact same thing. If you went after Donald Trump and you're not going after Joe Biden, you again I just have, discussed have, have, it. have no credibility. I, I, my, he, he just – he's you're brought, not, you're not, you're not going about? after him. You're not going Jamie, after him. We just did a whole you're not calling him a rapist. Excuse me. Have I ever called Trump a rapist? Have I ever said that he's a sexual assaulter? I said he bragged about sexual assault. Did I ever once in the two years I've done a show with you call him a rapist? Again, call, excuse me, call him a pedophile? I wasn't talking about – I'm talking about Nancy Pelosi. I'm talking, just talking I'm about talk, me. I'm talking about you're the, just talking I'm talking about, about me. No, you're, you thought I was talking about you because you want me to be talking about you. I was talking about Nancy Pelosi and the, left, my and, and the, and the left-wing media, okay. Brian. All right. Well, just for the record, That's I what, haven't I'm, done I'm that. saying they, they are, they're attacking right. – they attack Donald Trump relentlessly, okay, well, but they're not doing the same thing to Joe Biden. Okay, well, That's what I'm saying. You're wrong because no, actually – Chris no, Hayes. They're now starting excuse to. Me, excuse me. Finally, after, after, excuse me. after Donald Trump Jr. Okay. went crazy on Twitter. If you were Twitter. following social media yesterday or if you were watching MSNBC, guess what was trending yesterday on MSNBC? Hashtag fire Chris Hayes. Do you know why that was trending? Because Chris Hayes did a lot of coverage of the Joe Biden situation yesterday. And you, in fact, you know what some, else is trending? I believe, people, I believe Biden. Or fine. Be, believe fine. Biden. Believe in but Biden. Okay, we got to take some more phone calls. 702-257-5396. Is the number to call uh, again? That number is two five seven five three nine six. Ira, Ira, you are next up on the Vegas take. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Ira? Chris Hayes did a lot of coverage. Of the All right, show you got to turn your radio down, my friend, if you want to be a part of this uh, conversation. All right, we'll put them on hold. We'll get to the next caller. Seven zero two two five seven five three nine six is the number to call. Who do we have next? Who's the next caller? Let's go to Tim. Tim, you're next up on the Vegas take. What's going on? What's up, Tim? Hey guys, what's happening? Not much. What's on your mind? Hey, uh, so first off, good job, J.D. You gave Brian a taste of his own medicine. I like that. What are that. you talking about? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? You're always, you're always wanting to pot everybody down and just make sure they don't say anything until you get your answer. It's cool, though. I understand. I, I don't know what you're talking cool, about. It's cool, though. He, he just said, I could, you know, he told me to list and name names, and I named no, a few. I just, you, you, I don't know. All you, right, go ahead, Tim. No, you, you give someone a, a, anyway, a topic, anyway, and if listen. they don't answer it on the spot okay. in two seconds, you call them a moron. And I did that to you. Right. Go ahead, Tim. Well, I did. I answered it in ten seconds. fact check everybody off opinion. Well, he so, just fact-checked me, and then I did a Google search, and I, and I gave him a couple of so, so go ahead, listen, Tim. I'm just saying good job, J.D. That's all. Just taste your own medicine, and, and you kind of you kind of buckled a little bit. I can appreciate I um, buckled? What do you mean I buckled? Yeah, I just did a Google search. You're go, you're what, go, wait, hold on a second. You're defi- hold on a Wikipedia? second. T- Tim, you're poking the bear, bro. You're oh, poking the bear, you're, my you're, friend. You're, Tim, uh, you're definitely – hold on. No, 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 no. You want to make a point. Well, Actually, I'll let you. Point. I'll let you. I'll let you because you haven't made one yet. But uh, what, the definition of buckling <laughs> is point. in ten seconds doing a Google search and answering a question. That's your definition of buckling. I think not. Uh, buckle your seatbelt. Go ahead and make uh, make your point. Go ahead, Tim. I'll, I'll change that to rattled. Anyway, so the the well, you're rattling me. You're right, that. Brian. I'll give you. I'll give you the. You're correct on the consistency. So when you take a Joe Biden that has been accused. And it's just like still calm water. Nobody's really ruffled anything up. Nobody's really got everything shook up. But I'll tell you what, man, if Donald Trump farts, it's, it's oh, my God, the whole world has to know. And every media give me a outlet specific is a bad diet. So bad give me gas. a specific example, Tim, of Donald Trump not farting, but Donald Trump doing something <laughs> that you think the media should not have covered. Give me a specific example of how the media well, uh, overblown uh, something recently in this coronavirus in the last two months. And I'll gladly discuss that with you. Maybe I'll agree with you. Sure. Give me a specific sure. example so, so, of uh, somebody doing that in the last couple months. 
So it's it's not necessarily any specific one thing. It's the tone of Donald Trump that he carries. So anything he does, and, and pardon my other analogy, but anything he does in media or out of media or the things he says, it's it's always, not always, because I know you're going to waste me on that, but it's twisted. And it's, it's put into a content where... You know, everybody wants to blow it up and make it just so much worse than it is. All right, well, let me give you an example. Let me me give you an example, and let's see what your opinion is on that. When he brought up injecting yourself with disinfectant, there are some people on the right that are Trump supporters that think that the media blew it up, even though there are some people that have died from it. Do you think that the media over blew that whole thing? I I do a little bit, because I I can't really think a a businessman like Trump uh, or president, he's not a dumb person. Overall, he's made. Then let me ask. Then let me ask you a. Qu- then let me ask you a question. Then well, hey, you don't. Hey, let me you don't think it's. Let me, all right, well, let me answer your well, first question. You, 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 okay, so you kind of did. He's not, you said that's. He's go, not. Go well, ahead. he's not a dumb person. So what I'm saying is, I can't really. I don't feel that he really intended that you could take Clorox bleach or whatever other. Then why did he bring it up and have it? Then inject. why did he? Then why did he bring it up and have a dialogue with the doctors? Uh, and then a day later, said that he was be- he was uh, you know uh, being sarcastic and lied about it. If if he's if he's a smart person and he knows mm-hmm. that millions and millions of people, just hear me out here, are watching yeah. these press conferences, which they are, people that are concerned. Sadly, some of these people watching these press conferences are stupid. They're stupid people across America, both on the right and the sure. left. Why would he even bring that up? Knowing that the, if he was smart, he would know there's a possibility that some people might take him for every word he says and inject themselves with Lysol. If he was so smart, then why would he do that? No, it, it, you're, you're right. You're 100% right. I don't think he should have said that at all. I think that was a, a dumb thing to do. He is a smart guy. We all make mistakes. He, he needs to be more uh, reserved in the things he blurts out of his mouth. Totally agree. Well, we agree. That, that ship has sailed, my friend. That, that as yeah. as we well, want to use analogies, the horse is out of the barn on that one. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, okay. I appreciate. So, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, when you when he says things like that, it's like I I can only imagine his staff is going, "Oh my God, dude, what'd you yeah. what'd you just say?" Here's the you difference, know? though, but between back you. To the point of Biden is he's he's not. He's not getting the heat that Trump would for the same exact thing. Exactly. Because well, Trump, uh, here's Captain. That, let me play that, Captain Obvious for that's you guys. That's my entire point, and they're trying to make their argument well because he doesn't have the track record no. that Trump does. Tim, it doesn't matter. If, JD. If, if you commit sexual assault as an elected official, Look, it is it is going to be worse, you know, legally than than sexual assault for someone that is not an elected official. Let me play Captain right? Obvious, JD, to you and to Brian and to Tim, the caller. He's the president of the United States. Yep. That's why it's yep. getting covered. That's why, Tim, he, all, all these topics, whether it's about COVID-19, whether it's about sexual assault, and, whether it's about and, the things and, he and, says, and Joe he's Biden the president. can be the president. Yes. All right, let's get back he's, to the phone there's calls. Two yes. people, there's two people in the country let's get back that, to the that phone can be the president right. starting in February 2021, and Joe Biden and Donald right, Trump are those two people. Let's yeah. get back to the phone so calls. on the but same again, plane. I will also say that uh, Donald Trump bragged about sexual assault. There's audio of that, and he has 25-plus women where Biden has one. There's also a track record there. But let's get back to the phone calls. 702-257-5396. John, you're next up on the Vegas Take. What's going on? Hey, what's up, John? Hey, man. Let's play a little game. Oh, Who I'm said ready. this? Okay. Joe or Don? Ready? Here we go. I better Let's use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Just kiss. I don't even wait. <laughs> and when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the kitty cat. You can do anything. I believe that was Bloomberg. I think that's the, the <laughs> occupant of uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I mean, the hyper <laughs> hypocrisy yeah. of these yeah. conservatives trying to. I have four simple words for you guys. Bring it on, baby. Because we can play this game as long as you want. You want to do, we want to talk about uh, uh, subpoenas and who cooperated with subpoenas versus the uh, University of Delaware tapes. Let's go. Let's go there. You want to talk about tax returns? Let's go. Bring it on, baby. Well, John, I agree with you. Listen, listen, you know I agree with you on this, and that's why I'm saying those who are going after Biden but kept silent with Trump, you know, all these years have zero credibility. I agree with you. I, all, the only point I was trying to make with the Delaware thing is I don't think Joe Biden did himself any favors. I didn't like the way he answered that question. That's well, all. Know, considering he can't finish a sentence, he typically does not. I'd do rather somebody. I'd rather somebody Brian, not. Brian, he actually fell asleep in an interview with Hillary Clinton. No, he didn't. 
No, he didn't. He did. Again, that's a right wing talking uh, point. I, You're I, getting that from I, Breitbart. I, I saw the video. It. I he watched it. Fall he was asleep. His head was down. He was he asleep was, for no. at least forty seconds. All right. No, he wasn't. He got startled when he All woke right. up. So you want to talk about sexual assault? He didn't know where he was. Then you want to talk about? He's like three and a half years older than Donald Trump. What I want to talk about? Why are we even talking about this? What I want to talk about is how he doesn't do himself. So ridiculous. He never does himself favors, anyways. Besides that MSNBC. All right. right. What are we taking another phone call here? Who's next on the line? 702-257-5396 is the number to call. Let's go to Mike. Mike, you're next up. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Mike? Hey, guys. Uh, hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. There, Mike. Yeah, um, this is funny to me because I think that has the hall the hallmarks of the Clintons written all over it. Yeah, I, <laughs> this is this this is if you don't think this is a Clinton tactic, and this is the this is all the fingerprints of the Clintons, which is Biden thing. What is the, what are the Clintons have to do with he, this? He's trying to say that Hillary Clinton is going to take his spot. This is all the, the whole woman coming out the woodworks out of so nowhere. Think, no, 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 he's talking it, about Bill Clinton and, and and his relationship with women and how it's covered, right? That's what you're talking about. So Bill Clinton. No, I'm talking about this is Hillary Clinton trying to sabotage Biden. This is okay. all the hall, look at this is all the hallmarks. All right, so to the let Clinton, me ask man. you a question. All right, so let me ask you a question because I, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist guy. I never was, but that's fine. If you are, that's okay. Do you have one shred of evidence? that would actually pinpoint Hillary Clinton or Bill Clinton to this woman, Tara Reid. Do you have any evidence at all to back that? By the way, I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. I don't, I don't I, have a shred of evidence, but I look at the facts. I look at the Blasey Ford. If you don't have evidence, the, then I, you I, don't I, I have facts. At, I look at similar situations with the women coming out. This is all the makings of the, the Clintons are dirty, dirty people, man. They're so dirty, I'll make a dirty. bet with you right now on the radio. And, and theoretically, this, I'll make a bet with you right this, this now on the radio, to, if I may. Sabotage, uh, I will. I will make any wager with you wow. on the radio right now that Hillary Clinton will not be running for president of the United States in 2020, sir. So if you believe that, you'll make a bet with me on the radio right now. In fact, I'll let you fill in for me for a show. It what do you think about that? About that, it just matters. Well, about what do you mean? That's what with. you're claiming, and I think you're wrong. So I'll make. I will make a wager with you right now that you're wrong. Hillary Clinton has nothing to do with this, and she's not going to take Biden's spot and do run you for know president. For sure, I'm making a bet with you right now. Put your money where your mouth is. I, my opinion well, versus as, your I'm opinion. Not as rich as you, Brian. I, don't I didn't have say. Any money. All right. All right. Uh, you know what? How about I'll, I'll make another bet with you. Brian, How about if I could just wealthy. finish? Uh, nothing to do with money. You will go on the air uh, in 2020 after the elections in November and say, Brian, I'm a buffoon. You were right. I was wrong. And then if I'm wrong, I'll do the same thing. Okay. Nothing to do with money. I hope you can Brian, accept why that. Why you gotta bet. hurt my feelings? Why you gotta call me a buffoon? <laughs> That's, I don't think that bad, bothers you. I don't, I don't think that'll ruin your day, sir. I think you're a tougher guy than that. I do. I think you are. I appreciate the phone call. Though. By the way, I didn't call you a buffoon. Yeah. What I said was if you lose yeah. the bet, you have to call yourself a buffoon. And if I lose the bet, I'll call myself a buffoon. That's what I said. You weren't paying attention.